Hi, welcome to a RoboFlow training movie. In this training movie I will show you how to convert certain types of workflows from Cumulus 8 to the Cumulus 9 or Cumulus 10 version of RoboFlow. The first example here is a watch folder categories move copy folder it is a workflow that enables you to uh, find a folder that is represented by a category in the Cumulus catalog and move it to another location. Basically in Cumulus 8 this was looking <coughs> like this. Uh, you had a catalog, a category query, uh, old style uh, category query, uh, old syntax and then you had the option to say copy or move. In this case it was specified to move so then you can move uh, between a target folder, a root folder and a target folder. The way the folder path is constructed is that it takes the root folder and appends it with the, the, cat, the category path it finds uh, from the record that it was looking at. And then it replaces in the path of that folder that target path uh, that target folder and that way it knows where to copy it to. That's how it did it in the past. Pretty straightforward but of course not flexible that you could do just anything with your categories only that functionality. In the new kind of workflow you uh, will uh, choose a watch folder categories template or in other words it is called process a list of categories. If we look at this workflow, um, what I do with the workflow is you have uh, a few standard uh, parameters that this workflow has. Uh, this workflow out of the box will launch a query, a category query, and you can use the new syntax from Cumulus to uh, do those uh, queries, uh, which are, is very similar to the queries uh, you can use for records. And then I added two fields, a root folder and a target folder, which do not exist in the standard uh, categ uh, watch categories workflow, but you can add um, new parameters here. So I did, keeping the same values as we had in the other workflow. And then in the script, the first thing I do is I pick up, let me make this a little bit bigger, I pick up the category path. Now this can return something like slash dollar categories slash or whatever uh, root category you were using uh, for this kind of category. And so what I'm doing is I'm first testing if the string that it returns uh, contains a slash. So if this uh, my category path returns uh, says yes I have a slash in front of it starts with then it will uh, take uh, that substring and it will say just skip that first character. Then it tests if it starts with the dollar workflow, uh, the dollar category, so dollar categories or whatever uh, start category you're using, master category you're using, if that is the case I'm stripping that as well. I'm saying give me the right part of this path after the first slash. That's why I wanted to remove the slash in front of um, the path. So finally I end up with a naked category folder path that I can use for um, finding the folder. So I have the root folder and I uh, append here my subfolder that it found based on the category name and that results in a source folder. And then I check if that source folder exists. Um, and if it exists, I write to the log and say that it exists so that I will be processing it. Else, if it doesn't exist, I will write to the log that I cannot find the folder represented by this category. So here, um, then the next thing I do is I'm going to process all files in that folder and its subfolders. So I do that, um, I go in here and I store the folder path. And so this is a loop of all files in that folder and so for every file I'm doing now a process first thing I'm doing is storing a folder path I'm storing the folder name and I'm writing this to the log so you know this is a source file we're processing 
And then I'm replacing in that folder, in that folder path, I'm replacing uh, text to find the root folder by the target folder. So I'm creating now the, the target where it needs to be copied to. And then I'm trying to store that. I'm saying, okay, this is where I'm going to copy it to, the folder path. Uh, in which I just replaced that uh, target folder and I call it the new target folder and then I'm saying let's move the file to there um, so uh, file to process new target folder and um, then I have a moved file so I have a moved file uh, that I want to test so in the next instruction I test if it exists. If it exists, I'm saying, okay, perfect. Uh, the file was moved to target this, and we know that we were successful. Additionally, which is actually not necessary, I delete the source file and the file to process. Um, normally, this file shouldn't be there anymore, but just to be sure uh, that it isn't, we had a successful copy because uh, or move. Uh, because the target exists so in that case I'm just saying uh, delete if it fails if uh, for some reason the target folder doesn't the target file doesn't exist I'm saying I failed to move uh, this target mm -hmm. so I failed it when it has processed all files then it ends up with an empty folder with maybe empty folders in it so I'm saying check my source folder and delete any empty subfolders in there and then check my uh, folder itself and delete this empty folder which should be empty by then and that's how uh, this uh, workflow uh, uh, works that's how this script works it will delete it will sorry it will move the files from one location to another that are represented by a category in a catalog uh, the next workflow is a workflow that was um, deleting uh, stuff based on a category. So what we have is that we replace that again with a normal watch categories. And in that original workflow, I had a catalog to search for. I had an old style category syntax looking for any category name that is called di uh, diverse. And then I was saying delete this category and the folders so it would delete this category and the folders of that uh, category it has a root category root folder to look for it was not processing any records so anything below is of no value if I look in the watch categories workflow again watch categories template if the workflow name is ex ends with dot dash template you know that you're working with a new style of workflow and you will have these action scripts in the old style workflows could use eight style workflows you only have the parameters that you can set so I moved over the catalog I changed the category query into the new syntax uh, of uh, cumulus uh, for credit queries I'm specifying here that I do not want to process records and then I'm saying root folder so uh, what I'm doing here is the root folder is uh, again necessary to find uh, what folder this is representing then what I'm doing here is exactly the same as in the previous workflow uh, getting the path of the category stripping the slash stripping the first dollar category and then finally creating the uh, folder that I want to process. I'm testing if it exists. If it doesn't exist, no problem. I don't need to delete it then. So if it does exist, I'm saying, okay, I'm going to delete a certain folder. And then I have to do it again in two steps. First, I have to delete everything inside the folder, delete all from folder. And then when the folder is empty, I now can say delete empty folder. When that is done, I delete the category. And so that's basically how this uh, works. Very simple, straightforward workflow. Another type of workflow is a hot folder delete file folder, old style workflow that I'm going to replace with a normal hot folder workflow. 
this type of workflow had a very limited number of parameters. It was just saying which folder do you want to look in and then it would delete anything in there always it says here um, but what it would delete empty folders so no files and so this is a very easy uh, workflow in the past in the new version we are going to handle this a little differently what we are going to do is here is we created here in the hot folder inside the parameter folder of the workflow itself a dummy folder a folder that um, is inside uh, the workflow itself and only contains one file and this one file called folder to check or whatever you want to call it is actually an extra parameter that I added here and this file contains a list of all the folders I want to check this way if you want to clean up multiple uh, folders you can specify additional entries here uh, at this point there's just one but it could be several you know that the standard functionality of a hot folder workflow is that whatever files it processes and what and whatever files are in there and it processes it will also delete at the end there is a way of stopping that I, you can add a special parameter called hot folder delete file boolean and you set this to false if you add this parameter whatever it processes in the hot folder will stay in the hot folder so this way this uh, in this dummy folder yeah, the folder to check file will never be deleted every loop it will automatically see that same uh, file and it processes so what it does is the dumb it processes the files in the dummy folder there's only one file in there that specific text file and I'm saying give me that text file which is offered to the workflow as hot the current item is always called hot in the workflow and I know it's a tab limited text file and I'm reading it and it results in a table uh, it results in some rows in this case only one row uh, because there's only one line in my table in my text file and then I'm saying now I'm going to process that table I'm storing uh, the element and I'm saying that the rows are called path and then I can get to uh, path column 1 by specifying this uh, square bracket 1 square bracket just to make sure that you didn't add an empty entry in there just a, a, a carriage return or whatever I'm trimming uh, removing any trailing uh, or uh, spaces or carriage returns or anything just to be sure that I have a clean folder so I'm saying okay folder then I'm testing if this is not empty if you gave me an empty folder name so I'm testing if it's empty and equals to nothing but I prefix my result with an exclamation mark which inverts the result so if I were not to put that exclamation mark I would say yes this is processed whatever uh, if this is empty if folder is empty I'm going to process this uh, I'm going to execute the uh, child instructions underneath this if test in this case it's the other way around because I'm putting the exclamation mark in front of it it knows that it inverts the result so it's not going in here if it's empty so I'm processing something that is really a folder so I'm getting uh, I'm uh, storing the folder path and then I'm testing if it exists if it exists I'm going to process it I'm going to say deleting empty folders from folder and then with that name again uh, I'm doing uh, this I'm saying uh, delete from folder delete empty subfolders yeah. so I'm deleting the empty subfolders if you want to delete this folder as well then you could say delete empty folder in this case this is a watch folder we're not gonna do this uh, so I'm going to uh, remove this and this was a mistake in this uh, workflow if I were to let this in here um, I, since this drop folder is used in other places it will um, it will fail uh, it will uh, remove the, the hot folder or the watch folder from other workflows uh, which is not a good idea so that's why uh, I you have to remove that so those were watch categories or hot folder workflows now we're coming to a watch folder a watch folder workflow in, in the in the past had these parameters 
it synchronizes uh, this folder, which you will recognize as being the folder we just talked about in the previous workflow, with this catalog. So um, here in the uh, new workflow, I have exactly uh, the same two things that I look at, and uh, I have an asset handling set all standard uh, things. I have a starting point for my category tree. I say that it needs to skip three levels so it doesn't take the server name into the categories or the, the root uh, levels of your um, file system. It just starts where you want to start it. And then actually here we didn't need to uh, add any ad additional functionalities because it was just using the standard. So no extra work. And the same goes for uh, this workflow. Um, this workflow is just moved over with exactly the same uh, functionalities. Uh, if I have a check here, it was saying here, delete always. So there's a minor change I'm going to do that I just noticed um, is that here it should also say delete always if it said that in the past. And so you have the option to delete empty categories automatically from your watch folder. So this was uh, a quick training movie for how to convert watch categories or uh, hot folder delete file folder workflows or watch folder workflows from Cumulus 8 to Cumulus 9 or Cumulus 10 because there's no difference between Cumulus 9.2 and Cumulus 10 in, in terms of RoboFlow functionality. Thank you for joining and see you in another training movie.